We are one level away from Diablo now. It's gonna get pretty tough. Oh shit! Meet the new enemy right away. Succubus! Or soul burners in this case. They are succubi or succubus. Which, if you know your demon lore, succubus are demons in the form of beautiful girls. And they crave sex and then will kill you. I'm sure it goes deeper than that, but... Ah! I know what those are. That's not good. Those aren't very friendly. I'm gonna go ahead and cast this. Just so I have a place to run. Since that was my last potion. Okay, not what I thought they were, but close enough. Breastplate. Now where would I put this? I'll figure something out in a second. Run, oh! run, shit. Okay, so I can take what's there. What is that? A cloak. Why is there a cloak? Anyway, what does this do? <laughs> Thank you. That's actually very helpful. <laughs> now I can live a little longer. Those, of course, as I'm just shooting into a damn hole, are potions of rejuvenation. Full rejuvenation. Ah! Talk about a firefight. Killer there with the body on it is really getting annoying. I didn't mean to use both of those. My finger slipped. Ah! I know at least one person getting a kick out of all these deaths is dying. Son of a bitch. Whoa! That was close. I'm hitting another corpse. Run, run, run. As you can see on their design, they're naked. Well, actually, not completely. They're wearing thongs, but they're topless. Not enough mana. What? Holy shit! How am I still alive? I really need to go back, but I'm trying. I don't have room. Fuck. You know what? Go away. I want that. And this. Run, run, run. God damn. So, we're back in town now. First things first, let's talk to Grizzly. Whoa! What can I do for you? Yes, repair it all. Thank you. Save again, and let's see what we got. Hello, my friend. Stay first, a while and listen. The breastplate. Play to the tiger. It's a weaker version of what I'm wearing. Acts of haste, fastest attack. Savage Axe of Gore, 150% damage, adds 11 points to damage. That's pretty nice. Damage 2 to 10. 
Glorious Helm, 78% armor. Uh, 11 armor. Bow of Precision, 20 to Dexterity, 3 to 7 damage. Now, do I, am I willing to give up the 5 stats for it? I don't know. It's not as great as you might think. Out of the bow. But the rest of this shit I can sell. Oh, what can I do for Blade you? The tiger. Glorious helm. Look at it. Ten grand for that axe. What do we got? Helm of Vin, sword of vigor, bow of brilliance, armor of vigor, axe of bashing, and axe of giants. Twenty to strength. Wow. What ails you, my friend? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. And now I'll go buy my mana potions. I told you it was going to get pretty dicey, pretty tough, and it hasn't disappointed. We have at least one more, there's one more quest I coming up. I sense a soul in search of answers. Oh man, I just realized we went, there was one quest we missed out on, but it's okay because we went a decent helm anyway. One, two, another one of those, and what do you got? Lord Staff of Flash, Soldier Staff of Inferno, Bountiful Staff of Guardian, and Crystal Staff of Phasing, and Diamond Staff of Lightning. That's nice. Go away. Alright, so let's go back over to Griswold's area and organize this. Oops. I wonder. Yep, look at that. Pixelated boobs! Alright, first things first. Drop the gold. 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 Drop the base, I need the gold. Potion wall is ready. Let's do it. Actually, hold on, wait. Gotta go check work. I forgot to check him these past two levels. If anyone will have a really nice armor, it'll be him. Because I'm definitely looking for something with nice... That gives more... With uh, more defense. That gives good stat... Gives uh, stats all. I mean, even if the defense is less than what I have, if it gives a good amount of stats, I'll take it. Providing it's not friggin' leather armor. Psst, over here. Ruby bow. Fire resist 51%, damage 1 to 14. And you want 40 grand for it? You're out of your mind. Well, I surprisingly do have that much. It takes up a ton of inventory space, but it is there. Long way back now. Dum 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 and All right, so let's head up here now. No, this is where I was going, I was going down. What am I doing? That was dumb. Alright. 
Yeah, you guys can go ahead and shoot your lightning. I'm running away. Also, the star you draw in uh, Trauma Center. Those are great games, by the way. from all directions.
Cry, geez, for crying out loud. And remember, this is just level 15. Alright, let's go up here. Whoa. I don't want to click that yet. That was a staff. Staff of what? Uh, just a magical quarter staff. And let's see what this cauldron does. Ooh, look at that. Powers of mana refocus renewed. What? Nine, two, two, one, 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 two, six, two. Okay, it didn't mess with my spells. I think that I just restored, refilled my mana because it didn't change any stats. Yeah, I think that was a mana restore. Mm. Oops. All right, what do we got over here? Ah, a vile stand. <laughs> Check it. And it drops. Staff of Lazarus. Hmm. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't even say it has any attack. Oh, so we'll just have to ah! check it. Not die! That was good. Alright, so there's the Staff of Lazarus. We'll come back to that in a second. Go away. Decapitated body. Level up. Long war bow. Nothing. Put that to 90. 90 base dexterity. What does it take to use one of these? 80. left. Anything on the ground here? Nope. <laughs> I don't know how they just fall over and just bleed out when they die. back to the other side of where I was. That's just, uh, it is magical. Alright, I think we're just about done with 15. Now, I'm sure you noticed, or at least I hope you did, 
that we never, we didn't come across a way down to 16. Well, to get to level 16, it's a little different because that's where Diablo works. So they weren't just going to let you walk down there. down there, and then... is that it? Oh, over there too. Almost done. Gothic shield. Alright. Just walking. Could you imagine if there were like tours through here? Yeah, I mean it's in hell, but I mean tours and tours in hell and like tour guides. It's like and we're walking and we're walking and if you look to your left you'll see some decapitated bodies and some other corpses impaled on spikes. Notice the lovely Notice how they're sprawled out and the look of fear and terror in their faces that they feel their life being sucked away from them. <laughs> and we're walking, and we're walking. Yeah. And here's a pentagram. This was placed here by the Harajim in their attempts to seal Diablo. I think. Because remember, he's technically sealed, so we can't just walk right down there. We have to do something special in order to get down to the level in which he lurks. I had low health. Oh man! I'm gonna do this again. There. Oh well, okay. Alright, so we need to walk back up there again. I'll use these. here. Now we know there's a succubus waiting for me, or soul burner, as I believe they're called. But they're succubus type monsters. Body on the wall! Yeah, they gave me enough for another one. Short battle bow, non-magical. Blade, non-magical. Oh, that one's seen better days. Just a pair of legs. Is there anything in here? Uh, of course not. And it won't let me check out the... Won't let me map that last corner. Oh well. Alright, so we've done everything in the level. The only thing we can do is go back. So I'm gonna walk over... Where's that pentagram at? It's over here, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's go back to town. I do have some stuff to sell and repair. Identify. So, sell, or rather save. 
Wow, what can and I do for you? We'll repair. Okay. Let's talk to Kane and identify stuff. This does not bode well. Really? For okay, it confirms my say. darkest fears. While I did not allow myself to believe the ancient legends, I cannot deny them now. Perhaps the time has come to reveal who I am. Here, uh, my pizza true delivery name guy. is Deckard Cain, the Elder. We knew that. And I am the last descendant of an ancient brotherhood that was dedicated to safeguarding the secrets of a timeless evil. An evil that quite obviously has now been released. We knew that. Well, I did. The Archbishop Lazarus, once King Leoric's most trusted advisor, led a party of simple townsfolk into the labyrinth to find the king's missing son, Albrecht. Quite some time passed before they returned, and only a few of them escaped with their lives. Curse me for a fool! I should have suspected his veiled treachery then. It must have been Lazarus himself who kidnapped Albrecht and has since hidden him within the labyrinth. I do not understand why the Archbishop turned to the darkness or what his interest is in the child. Unless he means to sacrifice him to his dark masters. That must be what he has planned. The survivors of his rescue party say that Lazarus was last seen running into the deepest bowels of the labyrinth. You must hurry and save the prince from the sacrificial blade of this demented fiend. Oh, wonderful. So that's what happened. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Lazarus kidnapped Albrecht, took him down deep into the labyrinth, and is intending to sacrifice him into Diablo. Now, if you remember from that book we read, the book said that when the Dark Lord of Terror returns, it will be in the body of someone young who is innocent enough that he can take over. Who better than the Prince of King Neoric? Garnet Amulet. Resist fire 41%. No. Saber of Giants. 19 of strength. Staff of Haste. Fast attack. And Shield of the Tiger. Hit points plus 47. Oh, all that crap gets sold. Whoa! What can I do for you? But yeah. Now I gotta go sell that to the Witch. Even though it's not magical, well, I mean, it has magical properties to where it, uh, it has the fastest attack, I have to sell it to the witch. It's a staff used for physical attacking, has to be sold to the witch. I sense a soul in search of answers. Take it. Alright, buy one of those and one of those. You get back in there. Alright. So now I gotta go buy potions and then we'll head back down through the portal and see if we can figure out where the hell Lazarus went. Whoa! What can I do for you? Let's see what he's selling. Bow of Brilliance. Armor of Vigor, Axe of Bashing, Glorious Armor of Sorcery, Axe of Giants, Sword of Vampires. Bastard. Alrighty. What ails you, my friend? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 23, 24. And now we'll organize. Alrighty, so... It's time to venture back into the labyrinth, since we now know the story of just what happened with Lazarus, and as you remember from way back in the beginning of the game when we had the butcher quest, that one wounded towns guy who told us of the butcher that killed pretty much all of the rescue party, 
the why Lazarus with well I guess he had to try and keep and save face so they didn't his cover wasn't blown with leading the rescue party anyway as we're back down in level 15 you'll notice this is opened portal to the unholy altar let's go in it's a red town portal the only red town portal in the game and this leads us to the Archbishop Lazarus's lair. Hellspawn! Red Succubi! That's what's gonna be in this level. I wonder why we can't get in here. It's all sealed off. Magic fire lightning, okay, yeah, 48%. We're just double checking my resistances now. This area is a pretty funny area. It starts off small, but you have to actually click on stuff to open it up so it becomes a bigger area. So before I, and of course once the area expands, more enemies show up. So before I do any of that, ooh, press plate, I'm going to go ahead and clear out the area so I don't have to face these enemies combined with the new ones that are going to show up. It's a pretty small area as it is. And even when it expands, it's still pretty small. But don't be fooled, it can still fill up with a ton of enemies. Yes, the succubus can open doors. Alright, those are done. Now, you probably saw it as I was walking by. But over here is a book. Book of Vileness. Now standing on this stone here causes it to light up. And then reading the book teleports you over to here. And as you can see, we're inside the one area on the side. And we have more of these to fight. Ooh, and that one dropped a bow. That's a composite bow. Which, believe it or not, is better stat-wise. Has one more base and max damage than this does. So that's still technically better. Let me load this up. Alright. So now, we do the same thing on the other side to get sent in there. In here, I mean. We have another book of vileness. See, another, of course, the benef another benefit of the rogue is, as I've been saying before, the ranged combat aspect. Die. And if you were a warrior, per se, you'd have to chase them down and beat them down yourself unless you had a bow, which a warrior with a bow, well, it can work. Light that up. You're better off using a sword or an axe. Now, that's cleared up. Um, and those are the only two books. So in order to progress further, you actually have to walk back to the beginning. And once you do that, this happens. Lazarus himself. What's Abandon your foolish quest. All that awaits you is the wrath of my master. You are too late to save the child. Now you will join him in hell. And now it's time to party. So you see, he's joined, of course, by this succubi, Black Jade, and Red Vex. And a humongous horde of minions. So run and start shooting. And that's Red 
effects down. Oh, that was good. Shit. That was probably a bad place to save. Come on. Die, Black Jane. And she drops a magical staff of flame wave. Like flame like firewall, except it uh moves. I prefer firewall myself. And you dropped hard leather armor. Did I pick that staff up? Yeah, no. Where is it? There it is. Alright. I have no room. Yes you do. Hang on. Now with all them out of the way, it's time for Lazarus. Your madness ends here, betrayer. Well said. I can't carry anymore. Yeah, yeah you can. Alright. Now they're all dead. The corpses of Lazarus and his minions, his succubi. Which, I mean, he was pretty well set off. He's down there with two smoking succubi. Just chilling, serving the Lord of Terror. Had some ungodly powers of his own. Let's get back to 15. Now look at that. After you finish out Lazarus's lair, the pentagram starts glowing, and in the center, it opens up. And now that's our portal down to Diablo. We're going back to town first because there's going to be a bunch of items and stuff to pick up in the next, in the last level from all the men, uh, enemies we can, we're going to kill. So, time to go back here and repair itself. Whoa! What can I do for you? Fair, 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 fair. And we'll talk to Kane and tell him what we found. Your story is quite grim, my friend. Lazarus will surely burn in hell for his horrific deed. The boy that you describe is not our prince. But I believe that Albrecht may yet be in danger. The symbol of power that you speak of must be a portal in the very heart of the labyrinth. Know this, my friend. The evil that you move against is the Dark Lord of Terror. He is known to mortal men as Diablo. It was he who was imprisoned within the labyrinth many centuries ago, and I fear that he seeks to once again sow chaos in the realm of mankind. You must venture through the portal and destroy Diablo before it is too late. Yep. So now we face Diablo Hello, himself. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. The name of the game, the Lord of Terror, yada yada. Meteoric bow of the head. <laughs> Chance to hit plus 70%, 13 all attributes. Yeah, I'm definitely using that. Heart or Diamond Armor of Harmony, resist magic 55%, fastest hit recovery. Angel Staff of Flame Wave, oh my god, spells will increase one level, charges 23, 23. Angel Staff, Archangel Staff of Lightning. God, that stuff's gonna sell for a fortune. I do not have enough gold. Hello, now my know. friend. Stay a while and listen. Diamond plate, resist magic 54%. Okay, we're definitely putting this on. Watch this. Bang! That's more like it. So we traded off 5 for 13. So we got 8 more out of that. Uh, Archangel Staff of Lightning. Arca and that's just Angel Staff of Flame Wave. All right, let's sell the rest of this crap. Not pretty bad staff. 
or stats rather. Wow, what can I do for you? Take that, take that, and take that. And what do you have to sell? Ball of brilliance, armor of vigor, axe, fashion, glorious armor, sorcery, axe of giant, sword of vampires. Okay, he doesn't have anything else. Let's go blow a, uh, the witch's mind. 27 to 30 damage. I love it. 189 life. 78 mana. 86 armor. I sense a soul in search of answers. Merry Christmas, Adria. Alrighty, now uh, give me another scroll of town portal, please, and let's see what you got. Nada. Time to go buy potions. Seventy-six strength, okay. What ails you, my friend? We're buying stuff, actually. Hold on, how much? Okay, I need three. What ails you, uh, my friend? Thirteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Three elixirs and four elixirs ring. Two of magic, one of dex. No, three of dex. We'll buy them. I got the money. Why not? And now my base dexterity is 93. Five thousand. Yep. This is what we did before we had the stash of Diablo 2. Alrighty. Potions. We're all full. We're repaired. New bow. Uh, we're level 24. I think I'll get one more level before we end it. I mean before... We beat the game, but with that, as with Diablo, the only thing we have in our path, I think I'm going to call that a video. So, thank you for watching this episode of Two-Tailed Replay, um, and we'll, I'll see you soon.